What's what up, up fellow Earthlings? Welcome back to the channel, Let It Go Junk Removal. My name is Austin Lee Hires, AKA the King of Junk, Richard the Little Man, Manny the Man. subscribers out there watching this video on a consistent basis and commenting down below now we're gonna do something different today if you want to get uh, shouted out on the screen like this person here or that person there or that person there just go ahead and comment down below the keyword to comment in this video is gonna be what what are we gonna make the keyword cold 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 is the keyword you can use cold in any sentence or whatever if cold is in the comment i will most likely throw you up on screen next video oh yes um so if you guys are watching this through the computer on your on your uh, laptop or in your office on a computer a like button should be over here underneath me somewhere just click the like button down there like ding 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 and if you're if you're watching this on a cell phone or mobile you'll uh you'll be underneath manny over there somewhere and uh hit that like button guys we're trying to get up to over 100 likes within the first 300 views of this video and just keep it going from there thank you very much and we'll go in slow just right? just touch just touch, just the, like touch button. the like button guys you might as well Why subscribe you might as well just subscribe yeah it's it's, it's that right simple. down below as well guys it's that yeah. simple you hit subscribe and it will it will actually change that word to subscribe it's actually oh, it's actually oh, magic oh. So, it's, it's like this cool thing it does yeah it's, it's, it's super cool so next subject hit that like button so that's because we're oh yeah i want to mention that real quick all right so real quick guys before we get started on the video about the differences between junk removal and dumpster rental and which one makes more profits and all that good stuff i want to let you know that i'm almost done with my new studio and uh it should be only another week before i can get in there and make my first video but we will have actually three or four episodes of building the whole studio uh, me richard and manny and my wife uh even my kids helped out so we'll be showing you a couple of episodes of that in the future stay tuned so the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be junk removals we're just going to go over what all involves to have a junk removal side of it if you're doing it just for the whole day what it entails every step you got to do from the time you wake up to the time you end your day well in junk removals you need you you, you charge more per job rather in dumpster rentals you don't you, you're always charging the same price for the dumpster um and junk removal you also need two people where in dumpster rentals you only need one person to operate everything two factors that are totally different than dumpster rental is the price and uh, the amount of guys you need uh, to do the labor so junk removal also includes marketing uh, which brings your customers uh, and, and when you uh, bring those customers in they start ringing your phone the sun's in my eyes that's why I'm kind of covering it up here guys but uh, the um, when you're when you, when you start ringing your phone, you make these sales, and when you make the sale, uh, you have to schedule it, put it into the calendar, and uh, get it set for a, a day and time where you don't have another job set. So you don't put a job on top of another job. Uh, you have to have some kind of schedule like at that point after the sale. After you schedule it, you go to your appointment and you execute. You get the job done. You go there and you have two guys to lift and load the customer's uh, items in the container. And after that, you take payment. Then you tarp your load, you bring it to the dump, and you have instant profit. On top of instant profit, you get to have your container uh, still compared to dumpster rental where if you did a drop off, you wouldn't have it. I'll explain that a little more. Um, so yeah execution and then you have to go dump it and you have those dump fees but then you could go straight to the next job get it done like these you've seen these boys do it and uh, you've seen me do it and, and at several other people on YouTube you know we can go straight to the next job but that's a different case for dumpster rental and we'll, we'll get to that 
so you get to keep your container and junk removal now a big thing with junk removal is uh, you when you get big enough you most likely want to get workers comp and and um, definitely want to get insurance because you're going inside people's homes and you're moving their furniture out and you may damage their walls or or anything like that you know we have to take refrigerators out sometimes and the damn the water uh, the water piece on the back either breaks or or the water just doesn't shut off yeah. so the water ends up leaking <laughs> everywhere right when we're doing the junk removals like you have to be more prepared because you never know what exactly you're going to be getting into and I don't mean like prepared as in like mentally physically or anything like that but I mean tool wise when you do a junk removal you don't know what you're going to get into you might have a bed that you have to take apart so you might need an allen key you might have a screw that you have to take out so you need a screwdriver or a hammer just to beat something when you think about what you're about to do and you bring the right tools you have everything you need it allows the job to go a lot quicker allows the job to go a lot more fluent and just shows the customer that you know what you're doing you're not coming there going hey uh i didn't bring a screwdriver do you have a screwdriver like right. sorry like do you have a hammer like you don't want to ask a customer for tools because that just makes you look very very unprofessional it makes you look like you're just not ready for the day and you know us we're always ready for the day so yes what richard just said everything about having tools and junk removal um that's a big difference in the amount of tools you got to carry with you in dumpster rental um so let's move on to the next subject which is the consistency of junk removal go ahead uh manny talk about consistency for us I believe the consistency of junk removal is less likely than the one in in dumpster. dumpster rentals, just because you may always have someone wanting to rent a dumpster, but you may not always want someone wanting a junk removal done. Um, some occasions we do jobs where some people only want certain, or not only that they don't want it done, they're just not you're you're not getting the jobs you need. Some people only sometimes need a couch removed, um, like a microwave, mm. just certain few items. I mean, they make you money, but just not enough money, maybe not enough money for you to survive on, just just do junk removals and live off junk removals. Um, and they can, they can, so like the junk, junk removal has seasons. Yeah, and, correct. And it slows down. During so I seasons. believe, yeah, I believe that junk removal slows down and, and where, where, which rather than where in um, dumpster rentals, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Rather in dumpster rentals, people just, you know, they pick and choose when they want to rent some, you know, it's their money, they pick and choose when they want to pick it. And I, I just, you know, working here, I feel like you do more in rentals than, right? I would, I would say um, as far as, I think it's like uh, a 60 40. Okay. It's like almost a half and half, but as far as money and profit goes, like junk profit, removal yeah. is probably like 75 25. So well, profit wise, yeah, yeah. But as far as um, the amount of jobs to do, yeah, I would say between 60 40 because the only reason is because we have pickups with dumpster rental. Now, if they're only just drop offs and they weren't pickups and that there was a way you could do that, <laughs> then um, then there it wouldn't be as many jobs. So, those pickups really add to our work. Um, a workflow when we're when we're out there trying to hustle and you don't get paid for pickups guys you get paid for the drop-off um, yeah you do it. yeah, not yeah not unless you do it right yeah. some uh, sometimes we get paid to do the pickup because they go over the wall I was talking about that in a previous video I'll link that up there above uh, Manny and um, yeah so I think that's where it's at above Manny no no it's above me yeah, yeah. It's right there's here. A, there's a link somewhere and above above us, okay guys? Not above me though. Right. And I talked <laughs> it's one of them. I talked about I talked about that specifically in that video and now I forget what it was I was talking about. Um charging seventy five dollars. Yes. I, I talked about that specifically the in the video about charging seventy five dollars for over the top. Um so yeah, check that video out, guys. Only after you're done with this one though. Watch it all the way to the end. Don't forget to subscribe. There's that a surprise like at the end. Right. Subscribe and like. <laughs> okay. Like. So we got. All right, guys. <laughs> so, so far we covered junk removal, and uh, we covered marketing. We covered sales, scheduling, execution, your dump fees. You get to keep your container, move to the next job. You need to keep more tools on you. 
um, and is less consistent than uh, than dumpster rental. You also have to make sure eventually you get workers comp insurance. You have to send two guys out um, in a truck. It's just more professional that way and safer for your guys to lift um, anything. So we covered junk removal. Let's move on to dumpster rental. So the difference, uh, the, there are big differences between the two even though they are like family. And we're gonna point those out. We have already pointed us a few out. Um, so dumpster rental. <coughs> We, uh, we talked about how uh, junk removal you charge more, mm. dumpster rental we charge less per, and, and it's like um, never more than 375 bucks unless they go over the wall. You know, we never charge more than that. So um, on any given junk removal we could charge between one and four thousand dollars sometimes. If not more. If not more, that's right. So. Uh, what I'm saying is that you're you're never gonna have a really um, high income with with dumpster rental unless you start out with a minimum of like ten cans. I started out with five. I just bought two more, so we have seven. And it, in my opinion, I would have started out with ten if I could. Um, but because I have junk removal and dumpster rental, the five cans kind of worked out. I was able to save my money and buy a couple more. And uh, these two have uh, have seen the the stuff that we can we can do when we're uh, really hustling and, and 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 really using both to our advantage. So we're talking about these today like they're separate companies, like just junk removal. If you just did junk removal, that first part would cover that. Um, this second part is if you just did dumpster rental, and this is a full day of dumpster rental. Um, you would charge less per dumpster. You need one guy. You don't need two guys to go out there and do dumpster rental, um, especially if you have it set up correctly. And so you have to do the same kind of marketing towards similar people, um, but also you can now provide the do-it-yourselfers a lower price than a junk removal, and they'd be happy to get your dumpster and load it themselves. Um, whereas junk removal, you wanna get the people that are completely opposite. So, um, yeah, then after you do the same marketing, you have to do the sale, you still have to schedule. And now when we schedule, uh, Manny, when we schedule jobs, what do we have to do after we put a, a drop off in for a dumpster rental? So for one job, we have to, we have to schedule. We need, we need to yeah, we have to schedule that pickup still. Okay. All right, we're on the phone, me and my girl, we sell the job and we put that drop off in for you guys for that dumpster we just sold. For that one job, we have to put in a second job, oh, right? Because yeah. we have to still pick that dumpster up. Yeah, so you have to put in a second job. Right. For, for the dumpster so you did pick up. up. Yeah. <laughs> right, so for junk removal, you schedule that job, you do that job, that job is done. Now, with dumpster rental, it's a little bit different for the scheduling. Like I just said, you have to do that drop off, put that in the system, execute the drop off, and now that job's not done yet because you still have to go back another day, however many days later, and pick that dumpster up. And then you have to dump that dumpster. And at that point, you can see your profit. So as far as junk removal, you see your profit instantly. And dumpster rental, you don't really see your profit instantly until maybe three, five, seven days later, however long you rent your dumpsters for, um, then you see your profit. And only then, because you have to minus all of your expenses on a job and you have to wait till the job's done to figure that out. So, also pickups you make no money for, we've already said that. Like Zero. Yeah, zero. So guys, we charge for drop off, we get paid when we drop off. And when we do the pickup, we're going back, we're using more gas, we're using more uh, labor and, and now we're not getting paid for that pickup. So, just think about that when you're doing dumpster rental. Um, and on top to, of that, we pay for the dump fees. You don't. Yeah, yeah. we pay for the dump fees. Um, we don't make the customer pay for them. That's all included in the tour price. And you guys can price your dumpsters however you want. You make it all inclusive or they pay the dump fees or whatever. Uh, so yeah, and I already said right, we recommend at least 10 dumpsters for, our, for, for starting out a dumpster rental company. And I think that's pretty much some of the, the biggest differences between junk removal and dumpster rental, guys. Oh, 
before we uh, before we hang up this uh, YouTube call, guys, I want to tell you to uh, <laughs> I want to tell you to go ahead and click the link down below if you have any further questions for me. I have a uh, power hour with yours truly, the King of Junk, and also. <laughs> and also dumpster rental I would say so just give me a call guys if you have any questions I am very knowledgeable in uh, this area in this industry and I can help you out a bunch $45 an hour give me a call click the link down below set it up and we'll see you next time don't and forget it, to subscribe and if you want to talk about just anything I charge $30 an hour <laughs> <laughs> I won't give you any feedback any knowledge anything but it's $30 an hour <laughs> Call Richard. <laughs> Man, you wanna you wanna throw your TikTok out there? <laughs> I don't even have a TikTok. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, guys. Uh, if Facebook. you're if you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, <laughs> check out our uh, TikTok. Richard has a TikTok. How, how can they find you? Um, I'm actually changing the name. Okay. So next video, you'll have the actual name on the TikTok because uh -huh. I just put a name up and I had to wait 30 days to change it. Yeah. So next video, I'll actually have the actual TikTok. But Austin's. Yeah, find mine. Mine's uh, mine's the OG King of Junk because someone already stole the King of Junk on TikTok. <laughs> so the OG King of Junk, you can find me on TikTok, and I'm pretty sure you can just look Richard up by Richard yeah. Jenkins. So, peace out, guys. Until next time. I know we already peace. said that, but this is really the end. We'll see you later.